Welcome, you guitar people. More harmony videos. Harmony, the company that uh, was one of the biggest musical instrument or guitar companies in the world uh, for many years and then kind of like disappeared a bit. And now you can get like the old ones in like uh, custom, not custom shops, vintage shops and pawn shops and all that stuff. And um, the Singaporean company, Bandlab, who is also behind mono cases, Tesco pedals and heritage guitars, purchased them and brought them back to life uh, with the help of the Heritage Factory. And if you know anything about Heritage, that's the factory where, uh, you know, the old Gibson, I think, employees were and machines. It's the old Gibson factory. They, these people know how to do quality instruments. I just reviewed the Jupiter. And when we look at the Rebel, I would say, yeah, different shape, same damn guitar. So let's look at some specs and they're very limited because the website really doesn't share too much. In this case, mahogany body, mahogany neck, six strings. This is again a C neck. I would say probably very, very similar in shape to that one. Bolt on, don't believe what websites tell you, bolt on. Mahogany body, mahogany, maho Huh? Mahogany body, mahogany neck, bolt on design, string through body, 
six in line, which is kind of weird for a double cut in this case. But okay, it's definitely, the, these do not follow your Fender and Gibson shapes in any way. These are unique guitars. So six in line, and as you could clearly see, locking tuners, modern features on these guitars. That's how we like it. Uh, hand drawn serial number there. Uh, the little pin is up here instead of here. And uh, what else can I tell you? I think that's an ebony fretboard on this mahogany neck, which is just a little bit oiled. We have a telly bridge and two gold foil pickups, whatever that means. It, it, there isn't really a lot of information on the website. Nitrocellulose lacquer, three position switch. There's no call tappy, whatever. And this uh, pickguard. So that's all I can tell you. The colors, probably this comes in that color. This also probably comes in that and the red, I think. The whole idea is as follows. Make a cheap ass guitar. Meaning, make a guitar that is inexpensive to build. Meaning, a bolt on is easier and more, uh, less expensive to build than a set neck. Teddy Bridge is simple. You don't have to have the whole routing for a trem. You don't have to set up the trem and all that stuff. Teddy Bridge, cheap piece of metal, done. Uh, pickups, I have no idea. Gold foil. Who makes them? Nobody knows. These are Harmony Gold foil pickups. So, technically, the specs are inexpensive to do, but then you throw the best materials in terms of wood and all that stuff at them, and you build it really well. So, this is technically a boutique style guitar in terms of how it's made, but at a price point of about 1600 euro, I think cheaper in the US. But we have the bone nut. We have the really well done locking tuners by a company that I can't tell you because I don't know. Um, Harmony pickups, all this stuff. So the, the specs and the craftsmanship are there, nitro paint. And you have, because it's the same company, this 204 euro mono gig bag that it comes in with the tire attached to the bottom. These don't open all the way which is kind of cool, so your guitar really doesn't fall out. And then there's this extremely well done neck guard, a guide in here, so the neck really sits in, in this and can shift. This is extremely well padded. This is one of the best gig bags you can get on the market. And that's 204 euro and that's included in the price of the guitar. Now, spec wise, they look like the same pickups. The guitar is rather thin, so if we look at this right there, it's a thin, thinnish guitar, and you can see the little bit of a shape in the back, a little bit of a shape in the front, which is, of course, why this upper part looks extremely thin. But it is a thinner guitar. It is a lighter guitar. And why in the world would that sound different than this? Mahogany, mahogany, six tuners. It has strings. It has the gold foil pickups. So technically, this should be a, a difference of shape, not a difference of sound. However, this is extremely round uh, in the neck position. This is much brighter and more open. It could have something to do. I got a full disclosure. This might be the reason. Um, this has the strings on it that it came with. Whatever they are, I cannot tell you. Let me see. They're not the Dario's. This has already been tested by someone else. It came with strings that were a little bit rusty. So I exchanged them and these uh, are my uh, favorite strings, which are the Ernie Ball M-Steel. So these are steel strings that might have something to do with it. But generally speaking, my experience with this is it's a brighter guitar. And we're going to go into the Rev Dynamis right now on clean with a little bit of reverb and then a couple of different amps. And at the very end, we're going to go back to the Dynamis into some drive sounds from the board. Look at Leslie switching. It's the woman is freaking amazing. Over here and here are some sounds.
considerably more, considerably more spanky than the Jupiter, the Rebel. In the middle. What you get from a highly built guitar like this is string separation, clarity, all the notes are there, the playability in instantly feels great. This is what you pay for. It's not something you necessarily can immediately hear, but I'm feeling that it's just, it's it's talking to me, it's working with me. Uh, something I need to say uh, immediately is uh, because of the position of the thing and uh, the, the, the nubble and the lightness of the guitar, it uh, it does have quite a bit of neck dive when you're having it on a strap. Uh, it, it, uh, all of them have. It comes with the territory of having a light guitar. Moving on to the Fender Deluxe Reverb, which I have slightly cranky. <laughs> I don't know what chord I'm trying to play. Into the Achilles Argos right there, which is a classic JTME kind of sound. So clean or held back, it stays really nice and fat and clean. But when you dig in, you're getting this fuzzy kind of distortion. <laughs> was horrible. And then I played it wrong. I uh, okay, let's let's pretend I didn't mess that up. Into the ref 740 where we have a more open and modern crunch. Thank you. 
Ah, lion. Moving on to, uh, well, you wouldn't do it, but the Rev 100P right behind me, the big purple thing on the purple channel, but with a lot less gain than I would usually have it. <laughs> On to the Engel a Fireball 25, that's the white thing. And that's how precise those tuners are, that's ridiculous. is no mud. There are all these thirds happening here in these dense chords and it's clarity central and that is what defines a good guitar. Whether or not this is all classic -y and vintage -y, it doesn't matter. A good guitar will perform that kind of stuff. <laughs> And back to the Dynamis. These are good tuners. Have I mentioned that? And the G's are almost there. Nice. And we're gonna kick in the gunshot on the board here. Fully open. Some reverb from the Chase Bliss CX Seven Seven Eight. I don't 
how much more you want from me. <sighs> if you want to know which one I like more, the I'm going through these videos, you know, chronologically here. Uh, the Jupiter or the Rebel, it's very tough. This is a little bit thicker. The clarity on this is ridiculous, especially for the drop D metal-y stuff. You would never play this as a metal guitar because you look at it, come on. But you'd be the only metal guitar player rocking a harmony and looking, well, different and maybe cool. It's a highly bred beast of a quality instrument kept affordable. I mean, 1600 isn't affordable, but kept at a lower price point than it should be by having quality components, but simple recipe. The Tele Bridge, simple electronics, string through body, bolt on. I think the recipe works. If the aesthetics are something you like. I can't even tell you what style this is for. Is it a jazz guitar? Could be. Is it a, a, a blues? Absolutely. It is most certainly a rock and pop and classic rock guitar. No questions about that. And I would even dare to say that you can metal the crap out of this and uh, it wouldn't be a problem for anyone. What I'm going to say, I'm going to put links below where I can find them. Uh, Toman and Sweetwater links do make me money, so please use them and also please accept the cookies, otherwise I do not get paid. I did get paid for this video and I get to keep one of those five guitars, I yet still do not know which one, uh, just full disclosure. Uh, but hey, you could hear the sounds, I can't make those better than they are. And uh, you always have the choice to go and play it yourself, you always have the choice to order one and then send it back if you think I lied. That's, that's how it is, so lying would be completely pointless. Saying it's better than I think it is would be completely pointless because, hmm, well, you can always send it back. Thanks, Leslie, for switching. Thank you for watching. Thanks to the animals at the end.